happy holidays, guys. It's holiday season. And uh, welcome to Air Guns and Coffee Talks with Air Guns Raider. So, guys, in Hipshot, this is Hipshot, the most ferocious air gunner in YouTube's history. And he's standing on the case today, guys. So, we're going to go over what's in this case. And uh, you guys know what to do. You know the drill. Get yourself a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage. And meet myself in hip shot on the other side. So, guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Uh, guys, if you're here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you enjoy the content of my videos, uh, hit the like button and also uh, hit the notification so that you can see more videos that are to come. So guys, uh, today I decided to switch up a little bit and this is a new segment, guys. I'm going to start calling um, what's in the case. So basically what's in the case, guys, it'll be um, my my air gun collection my pistols, uh, my rifles, and those types of things that I uh, that I enjoy collecting. And we'll just basically just kind of talk about them, look at them, talk about them. Uh, I'll tell you what I think about them, you know, why I collected these specific ones and uh, where we're going with those. And just, just the sharing in my collection. So guys, stay tuned and get ready for um, the video. So guys, in this first segment, I uh, thought I'd highlight uh, some of my um, iconic replicas of real steel uh, guns. So none of these guys are guns or firearms, guys. This is my collection of Berettas. So I have uh, my first Beretta is the 92A1. The second Beretta is the M9A3. The third Beretta is the PX4 Storm. And the fourth Beretta is the APX. So guys, uh, stories on some of these guys. This particular gun I purchased, guys. Um, this happens to be one of my first blowback air guns. Um, and, I, and I purchased it, guys, because I liked it. It had a, you know, a twinge of realism, and it was just something that I had to have. So I purchased this one. Each one of these are blowback action. So uh, when I purchased these guns, guys, I just, you know, basically wanted to have them. This one here is probably my latest in the collection. This gun right here, the PX4 Storm. Is one of the first ones that I collected, uh, and the APX came along after that. Now, these two guns are uh, less expensive than these two guns. So with that, this gun right here, guys, I've done videos on, a video on, guys. Um, but this gun, um, I call it sexy. This is my sexy gun. I, I really enjoy the look and the feel of this this pistol when i saw it i said you know what i really would like to have one of those and uh reasonable guys uh this gun here has always hovered at right at around 80 80 80 us dollars and uh matter of fact liked it so well guys i purchased two of these uh because i liked them and i thought you know what I would enjoy doing some dual wielding with these. And so that's primarily, you know, I've got a video with me uh, dual wielding uh, this particular, these particular uh, model. Um, but they were reasonable guns. And so I just like the way they look and I like the way they feel. And that's when I purchased that. So this particular gun came along afterwards, guys. Because I, at, when I first started my collection, I started with the the 92A1. Um, I don't know, something about the way it felt. Uh, these guns are, are 
close in weight from what I'm what I heard um, or what I know uh, in the real steel versions. Um, this one here is full metal. It's full metal, guys, uh, except for the plastic grips, and it feels every bit the part. Uh, and I fell in love with this. This was, uh, like I said, one of my first blowbacks. And then I, I caught, I start, uh, fashioning myself and say, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, th this, this, this particular gun set off a series of collecting Berettas. So that's when I started collecting air guns, uh, in multiples. Uh, and, and it's, it's the reason why I started is that particular gun. Cause I liked it so much. But with this this one here, this gun uh, came in, and uh, it for me it looked like it was I call it Glock esque, uh, meaning that it kind of looks like a Glock, guys, uh, mimics somewhat uh, the styling of a Glock, but um, it is it's it's a Beretta, and uh, I found out that you know this was a replica. So, and also guys, it was reasonable. Now this is the most reasonable uh, pistol in the grouping. Uh, this one came in, I think around 60, $65 for this, 60, 50, $60 for it when it first came out for me. And uh, I was like, okay, let's get that one. And then I'd have a collection, but I enjoyed that one also because of the, the fit and, and the finish and the wear that and the trades guys that I decided to get two of those. So I have two of these APXs and I have two of the PX4 Storms. So then that came in play with the MP, the M9A3. So the M9A3 guys, a couple of years ago, I think the United States, uh, I want to say the United States Army of uh, had an open competition guys for um guns they they i think this was their standard the one they carried and they wanted to change and so all these gun companies were submitting uh samples of guns that they were going to choose uh to to uh to use and i think when they switched over what they switched over if i'm not wrong i might be um i might be wrong was they uh they chose the six hour p two two six so guys these two guns are virtually the same guns guys um the specs on these are are they are um three hundred thirty f p s according to the manufacturer um and uh they have shot capacities of 18, 18 BBs uh, in each. So um, it comes with a full magazine. So when I first purchased this one, guys, I, that's what this bag is right in front of me. Um, that, that holds another black magazine like this one. Uh, I wanted to be able to, to do some continual shooting and some some drill type practice with these guns um, when I first bought it. And uh, the thing that got me guys was the fact that this one guys is, uh, this one here guys has a fun switch on it. Let's see, where's that? Yeah, this gun here guys right here. If you, if you look right here, I don't know if, if I can, and if it's faded, I'm using it. But yeah, this this gun here, this switch here, switches from semi-automatic to a full auto. And because it was full auto, it's it's a whole lot of fun, guys. So that's the same with this gun. This gun has the same deal. You switch that up and it's it's a fully automatic. Okay, so this is the safety here, guys. This is uh is that two safeties? No. That's the safety for it. It's also a decocker um, for it as well. It's been a while since I shot either one of these. I, I have no, actually, I haven't shot this one, but this one I have shot. But uh, 
one of the other reasons why I purchased this one was because I have magazines, guys. So this one here, this is the magazine for this. It's the same magazine. Fits, fits this gun. This magazine fits this gun. And this magazine fits this gun. So I have three magazines to practice shoot with if ever I want to do that. Uh, and I, that's one of the things I like about it. And that's also one of the reasons why sometimes I will buy uh, duplicate type guns um, just for that reason. Because I'll be able to use uh, the magazines uh, out of each gun. So, yeah. So th these guns, guys, this gun here with the magazine in it, weighs about 2.4 pounds. And if you watch any of my videos, guys, you guys know I like a weighted pistol. Uh, I like weighted, I just like weighted guns, period. You know, not, not you know, super weighted, but the ones that feel uh, more authentic and heavy, because I'm a big guy and my hands are, you know, decent size and, uh, I just like um, a heavier gun. If you watch some of my earlier videos, I explained some of that to you. But yeah, this one here, guys, is really nice. Um, triggers all metal in this gun. And um, I believe you can switch out the, I'm not sure, but uh, if you want to change these grips, I think it's possible, maybe not, or maybe not. So yeah, um, let's see, take this out. So this one, guys, I think, let's see, take it off to safety. Is a is what would be a full blowback pistol. Yeah, so. Um, And it and it and it it has a real good function when you shoot it. I you know um, trigger's not too bad on it. And as you see, it's starting to wear. I I I use this one a lot back when I when I first got them. Um, just was very um, just a fun 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 gun to shoot. So yeah, very enjoyable guns. This, these are these these ones are very enjoyable. Yeah, this is this one here has a metal trigger as well. This one has a rail. They both have rails underneath so that you can put. So the different one, this one has it has a. I don't know what the thread is on this. Let me see. I don't even think I can get it off by hand. It's on pretty tight, guys. Uh, I think it's 14 millimeter, I want to say, so that you can put a compensator on it, but don't quote me on that. Uh, that's the difference between that one and this one. So I haven't attempted to do that. Like I said, this one, I know this one hasn't been shot at all um, since I've had it, so... But I would be interested to see that because I, I do have a I have a couple of mock suppressors and uh, maybe I'll take that off and, and uh, gently because I don't want to scratch it up. See if that fits uh, with that or not. So, yeah. So these are full auto and they are. Um, full metal. Pretty much all metal, like I said, except for the grips. So, and also, guys, I believe these take down. Uh, yeah, they do. This side here, you push this button in, and you knock this pin out, and you can take the slide off. I'm not going to do that, guys. There's plenty of videos that that do that. I've had the slide off of this other one. Um, they're not hard to take off. Um, uh, it will allow for cleaning and uh, if you get jams and, and other things like that, uh, it, it's it's workable. Uh, let's see. 
there's no BBs or CO, uh, CO2. Oh, speaking of CO2. So in these magazines, the CO2 is, is encapsulated in the magazine as opposed to the ones I'm going to show you uh, next. But the reason why you like these is because this gun here, as long as you don't do a whole lot of crazy things with it, it's solid and it shouldn't break. Uh, but these these go bad. So you could always, you know, back then, I don't know if they still produce them or what, but you can, you can I'm sure you can find them. Uh, because the CO2 is housed here, you don't have to worry about uh, that so much where you could, you know, you could buy another um, magazine to use for your gun. Uh, except for, you know, other than the ones with, with uh, that I'm going to show you because the, the seal is here in the in this particular uh, gun, uh, I mean, uh, magazine. So that's what I, one of the things I like about the full magazines and, and uh, uh, one of the things they have to offer because they're separate and it's not part of the the, um, the gun. So let's see. I don't know if, uh, let's see here. I can't get the catch release to stay. There, there we go. Okay, so yeah, you can look down the mag well of these particular guns. Yep. So, uh, from what I hear, they function just like the real, the real steel versions. I've never shot one, but that's what I hear. So. Okay, hold on for the next segment, guys. So, guys, this this is the pellet pistol. I, I prefer pellet pistols, guys. I would like for them to produce these in pellet uh, pistols, and they may have by now, but I don't know when I collect them, start collecting them. But this PX4 Storm uh, is a pellet pistol. So... Um, this is the type of magazine that it holds. It has a stick magazine, guys. And uh, it's it's also 16 rounds. Uh, you put eight in this side and eight in that in this side here. So um, I've had people ask me about these stick magazines, guys, and whether or not pointed pellets can fit in them. Uh, and I choose, you know, not to, to run. There may be a couple of pointed pellets that possibly, but... These these pellets, uh, you want to use the wide cutter pellets or something that are like dome pellets that don't uh, protrude here because they will restrict this this wheel from turning, causing the pistol to jam. Um, but the thing I like about the stick um, magazines as opposed to the full magazines um, is that these will cost you. They, well, when 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 I start purchasing them, they were a lot less. So you could probably get like two of these for sixteen bucks, as opposed to the full magazines, which were anywhere from thirty to forty bucks uh, upward. And I think you might buy them, get them for about twenty five dollars now, maybe. Uh, but these were you could get these stick magazines for about eight bucks each, maybe. Uh, and that wasn't wasn't such a bad cost, and I do have an extra one for this one somewhere. I don't know where it is right now, um, but yeah. So everything is this one is clear. So this one here, you don't have uh, the magazine. You don't have the uh, magwell feature where you can see down through the magwell. Um, but and this one here, guys. There's a trick to this one, whereas this one never would it doesn't hold back because it's a it's a pellet gun let me see if i can put it in and get it to do it and this is not a full blowback guys this is a partial blowback gun um let me see uh let me see okay so we'll take it off of off of safe and it's on fire this is the mechanism here for safety and and, and fire I don't like these as much. I like them because they're better for safety feature. I just they just kind of are different. I don't 
I don't care much for for them, but let's see. Uh, uh, there was a way, let me see, to get this to, I may not be able to do it. There it is. So if you pull it back, you can get the whole back, but it, it won't it won't hold back. That's the difference. Now these will, when you, you shoot the last BB out of these, they will hold back. Uh, and that's including the APX over here. But this one will not. Now, most pellet guns do not, from what I understand, because of how the mechanisms are laid out and made uh, in terms of how they function. Um, but this is this one I remember watching the the same uh, video years ago. I think about five to five years, five four years ago, I discovered that video. Maybe five six years, and uh, the guy did this with it. To show that the the slide stay back, but um, yeah, it, you can decock it as well. So the grips are different. I like the grips on these. It's like I said, this for me, I don't know. It's just a sexy gun. Uh, it's not as heavy as the other guns. This one is about one point six pounds as opposed to two point four pounds. Um, and it does run off a of CO2, guys. Um, your CO2 goes in here. So, uh, now I use Pell Gun Oil, guys, and I haven't had any problems with it leaking or anything like that. Uh, I'm trying to see this one here. Yeah, it, it has a little wear on it. So, this is the one that I shoot the most. The other one I haven't shot uh, as much. Uh, just sometimes I haven't shot it as much, but I can tell because this one has a little more wear on it. Um, and then, oh, that's the other difference here. The barrel on this one, see this one here is, is more recessed than this one is on surface. Uh, and I don't believe it's, I don't believe it's one of those ones that, um, yeah, it, some of the BB guns, the, the barrel will protrude out. And I think it's on this one. I'll see, we'll see when it'll pull it out, uh, whether it does that or not. But um, yeah, so this one has a rail too to put some type of light on it. Uh, if you want to on that and that's it. These are non-functioning. Uh, for the safeties on this one. Uh, and this one, guys, you cannot take down. So I've seen people will find ways, trust me. I know that it's like these pins right here that it's possible that they'll do and they can take, you may find a video where they take them down. I don't do a lot of all of that, guys, because uh, I'm just basically a collector of these things. I am an admirer of them. And I enjoy uh, just sometimes I'll sit in my chair and just look at them like I'm doing now. Look at the trades on them and just enjoy. And I like the way they fit in my hand. So this one, guys, the APX. Okay. Oh, that's the other thing I didn't talk about. So let me go back. Okay, guys. So. As you can see, they don't have the fiber optic sights, but they have the white dot sights on these. I think each one has the white the white dot sights, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I can't. Yeah. These some of my BB guns when they first, when I first got them, they didn't come with the white dot sights. I had to paint them on. These are not, they come factory made like that. Uh, these are not adjustable um, for elevation or windage. Um, yeah, this, this particular one, yeah, no. 
Yeah, they're not they're not adjustable. They're fixed. They're fixed sights on each of these. So yeah. So now this one guys this one guys I purchased this also has a stick type magazine, but it has a butt plate on it. And uh this is where you cinch up the CO2. I and it's a little hard. Hold on. Let me get off camera. Yeah. So that's where you put your CO2 in there. And these don't have uh these didn't come with adjustable straps, guys. This is this is a budget friendly BB gun. It, it has a nice feel and a nice finish to it and a nice look, you know, to it. Uh this one was recessed as well. Um the only problem I had with this one, guys. Okay, so like these are half blowback ones too. Did you hear that? Let me see. It had that tinny sound to it. It has that tinny sound to it when you when you uh when you use it. Let's see if I can go through the rest of them this way, see what they sound like. Um you know, um yeah. They they have each they each have different sounds to them. Yeah, these springs are better in this these particular guns right here, uh, except for even with this one. This one here has a little more power, guys, and I'm not sure. I'll check the power on that. These were 330. This is 380, but it shoots a pellet, and it has a rifle barrel. I don't know. You can't see. Uh, it has this one has a rifle barrel, whereas the BB guns do not have a uh, rifle barrel. So. Uh, it helps to spin the pellets out uh, and give them a little more speed and a little more accurate than the BB guns, uh, per se. Um, yeah, so let's see. Yeah, see? Yeah, and that spring is pretty, pretty good on that. Now, I haven't tested uh, these together because I haven't shot this one. I haven't chronoed it, and it's been a while since I chronoed these two, I've shot both of these. Um, the other one and this one I haven't shot and I barely shoot this one, but I know I haven't shot the other one in this one. I don't believe I have. So, um, but yeah, so anyway, trademarks on that one. This is non-functioning. So this one you cannot take down as well. Uh, let me see something. Take a pause break for a minute. Be right back. Okay, I had to look up the specs on this one, guys. So this particular one is 1.47 pounds. Just a little slightly heavier than that one. Um, metal, metal, metal slide, guys. Polymer body. The same with the PX4 Storm um, metal slide polymer body. Uh, this one has a metal trigger, which I like the metal chip triggers. This one does not. Uh, it's not a metal trigger. Uh, I, that was one of the things I didn't like about this one was the way they did this trigger. It's almost like they just stuck this on. Uh, and I would have rather had it be metal. Um, and also, you know, where they have them so that... Um, the safety is built into them. I don't know if the real steel is like that or not, but I did like the serrations on this one, the front and the back. I just didn't like the spring on it, but oddly enough, guys, now check this out. Oddly enough, this one here is 400 FPS. So it has a higher four FPS than all three of the rest. Uh, and that's, you know, I. I think it's because it doesn't use as much um, CO2 for the blowback because the spring is very light in this one. It's heavy in the uh, M9A3 and the 92A1. And the PX4 Storm, it's not so much so, but it's. I think it's however this one functions. It makes it a little bit different, but this one does not. Um, 
but um, this one I've shot, the other one I have not, but it's clanky. I've got a couple of BB guns that compare to this and I'll eventually show those. I've purchased those too. Uh, but since I'll, I've done, I'm going to start doing this new series. This won't be, you know, this just to be a series every once in a while. I'll pull out uh, my cases, guys, and I'll go through uh, some of them because I've done some interesting things. You know, my, you know, with me, guys, I, I, I like to spend my money on the guns. I don't particularly have to. I like to, I like to buy accessories for the guns magazines and such also i'll put red dots on some of them and other things as you 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 may see in my videos uh but i don't spend a lot of money on stuff like cases although i do have some that i've purchased but they're, they've been pretty reasonable this is a case guys that was converted let me take off my so as you can see this was a tool case guys um and I hollowed out the bottom half of it. I put in foam and cutouts. You guys seen the video where I've, uh, and this one here, and put it on, uh, decock it and put it on safe. Um, you see where I, I've converted, just like the Glock, uh, the Glock video that I did, I built my case. Uh, I usually just, I go to the thrift store guys, I'll spend two to three bucks on a case, uh, no more than five dollars on an old case that that people have taken the tools out of and whatnot, and and I'll convert them into cases, uh, so I don't have to pay for cases. You know, save a few dollars, but also it's the fun thing in me. It's, it's part of my collector type mentality and things that I can do to enjoy my collection. So I'll make my own DIY cases for these things. So yeah, so guys, this is my Glock. I mean, my Glock, sorry. This is my Beretta collection. I got Glock on my mind now. Uh, yeah, well, that was the thing that I was talking about. So when I when I first got this one, and I did a video, guys, I didn't own any Glocks. And when I did present the Glocks, I presented them, guys, uh, in a series of videos. Uh, but when they first came out, I just didn't buy them. I just thought they were plain. I didn't like them. This one here was an alternative for me. Uh, I've since grown, grown to like my Glocks. I, I still have to shoot them. I haven't, but I have cased them. Uh, and this one, guys, is based on a, what they call striker fire. So uh, the, from what I understand, the, the pin is on the inside of this gun, a real gun, real steel guns, and uh, it's not uh, hammer-based. So, but, um, yeah, and this one is not ambidextrous. I don't think either, any of these are, so they're all, um, they're not ambidextrous. They're right hand made, I guess, hand fit for, for your, uh, pleasure. And I guess that's because it's probably more right-handed people than the lefty. But I know you can buy guns like that, real guns, where you can get the, the mechanism. And then some of my guns are air guns you can do that with, too, where you can switch it over uh, as well. So anyway, guys, I'm starting to ramble as usual. Just wanted to to, to do a new series and a new way of present, uh, presenting some of my air guns. I'll also will start to do where I'll take the case out, guys. And uh, we'll have a uh, fun day Sunday out in my range and we'll just shoot out of one case. I'm going to start doing that coming forward um, as some some of the new things I want to do for my channel. Some of the things I haven't been doing air gun wise, because like I said, my my channel is primarily based on collecting these items. So. Guys, anything you want to uh, ask me about these guns or you have anything to say about these guns, I appreciate it. Some of you guys, uh, I have guys to uh, talk to me about some of the guns that they purchased. Uh, not these in particular. And let me say again, now these are all Umarex products, guys. So that's that's one of the things. Uh, Umarex makes these products, these replica air guns. I think they do the, the most excellent job, but... 
My other replicas look pretty good as well uh, that are not made uh, by Umarex, but they, I think these guys are, are boss in that arena. Um, hands down next to the, the uh, Airsoft guys, because I think Airsoft guys, I don't know, for some reason, they get the best license um, to reproduce these guns. And they do a lot of more creative things that I would like to see the the, the uh, real steel BB gun people start to do. Uh, I'll be the first in line to start buying them because I, I do like to collect these things. So that's it, guys. On that, just wanted to uh, share with you uh, my Beretta collection. Hipshot, thanks you for coming and watching my video. And guys, uh, as... I would say, and Hipshot would say in my videos, guys, it's Christmas time, as you can see, and we are...